Yo, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart. Both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be reviewing The Night Boat by Robert McCammon. This came out in 1980. This was the second novel Robert McCammon ever wrote, the third novel published. So he wrote Baal, Bethany, Sin, and The Night Boat. Now, they were published in the order of Baal, Bethany, Sin, and The Night Boat. However, The Night Boat, he actually wrote before Bethany, Sin, if I'm understanding that correctly. 1980. Let's talk about the cover. You know, I love graphic design and cover illustrations. So let's give the cover a shout out because I dig these covers. Um, this cover was illustrated by Rowena Morell. It's great. It's got the um, submarine on the water with the moon and the skull and the great, great graphic design. I love these fonts. I love these crazy 1980s fonts. Just Freaking cool as fuck. You know, I wanted to read the author's note. Um, because it's interesting. It's the most interesting part of the book, quite frankly. Um, it may be interesting to note that U-boats were referred to by both captains and crews as iron coffins. And rightly so. 736 German submarine crews still lie with their boats on the ocean floor. What? Let me read that again. 736 German submarine crews still lie with their boats on the ocean floor. That's not 736 men dead in one U-boat at the ocean floor. That's 736 Different submarines that sunk during World War II. Holy shit. I had no idea. That's a lot of failed submarines. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord have mercy. What was that movie, Das Boot or something like that? Wasn't that about one of these things? S sinking. Oh, my God. The horror, the claustrophobia. Few things. Few things more horrifying than being hundreds of feet below the ocean in a rusty German submarine that's leaking water. Oh, good. Fuck. Could you imagine? Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, I don't even want to go there. Anyway. Horrifying premise. Ah, oh, gosh. I'm gripping, my, I'm gripping my chair right now in anticipation. So the book is about, it's inspired. Now, if you read the afterword, um, Robert McCammon talks about what's inspired him to write this book. And it's an old illustration that he saw as a kid of a dinosaur rising up out of the water with gleaming teeth and the crystal water dripping off the teeth and, and the moon shining down on the scene. He said it really left an impression with him. And so it was sort of the... Uh, reason he wrote this book. So now we've got not only is rickety old rusty German U-boats, but we've got monsters in the ocean. So this is a setup for what's probably going to be a dynamite horror novel. And it is. It's typical Robert McCammon, beautiful prose, beautiful writing. I love those descriptions of the um, beautiful Caribbean uh, and how they and how those beautiful sea and the islands contrast just with the raggedy German U-boats and those rickety old machines and how they would just kind of just they wouldn't even slink up out of the water gracefully they just sort of just like bleh, right out of the water you know just like with with so with no grace whatsoever and then we contrast that with the beautiful Caribbean and then the just the gore and the horror of the novel that we're reading and just I mean the, just daydreams and nightmares and and and, and uh, oh so anyway our hero of the story is Dave Moore Dave Moore also can recall from his youth an illustration of a dinosaur 
rising up out of the ocean. So I like that Robert McCammon used the visual imagery of his own life into the visual imagery of the character. I will be honest with you. This book, and I've read every Robert McCammon book there is now. With the Night Boat was the very last one I read. But I've got my whole Robert McCammon collection up there, you can see. Got every Robert McCammon book. I've met Robert McCammon a couple times. He signed many of my books. The Night Boat is the very last book of his that I have read. And I've got to tell you, it might be my least favorite. I just couldn't connect with it uh, as much as the others. That doesn't mean to say that I didn't like it or that it's not a good book. It actually is. There's a lot to like about this book, especially like I just I said to you. The scenery, the setup, the old U-boats, and the monsters that come out of the sea and are daydreams and nightmares. I will read the back of this to give you a better idea of what's going on. Um, the night boat, it was created to kill, baptized in blood. Now a quiet island paradise will feel its fury. A fiery curse sent the old German U-boat to the bottom, ending its mission, but not its madness. Now frozen in time and in hate and, and in eternal damnation, the black death machine prowls the sunny Coca-Quina Harbor, and in its iron belly a gruesome crew silently awaits for the living. So not only do we get massive monsters rising up out of the sea, rickety old rusty German U-boats, but we get Nazi zombies. It's, it's a fun little book. I didn't connect to it as much as I connected to Bethany Sin or Baal or Stinger or Usher's Passing or Mystery Walk or Gone South or Swan Song or the Matthew Corbett series or Boy's Life. I actually was just kind of like, all right, this is a decent book. This is a decent book. Um, I'm glad I've got it in my collection, that's for sure, because my collection is complete, and I've read every Robert McCammon novel. So I give this a solid... I'm going to give this about a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, fun book to read. Interesting situations. Some horror... Uh, some gore and some monsters and some claustrophobia. But Robert McCammon is one of my top five favorite authors of all time. So go out and get anything you can by Robert McCammon because you will be blown away with just how great of a writer he is. Now, this was one of his earlier books, like I said, and uh, he definitely improves over time. But the night boat, I, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad it's part of my collection now. 